Hello, hello, Bookworm. Why the fuck is Hatchet so huge? This is my stream now. <laughs> no, it's not. Fuck you. You're small now. I am the main character. <laughs> You're smaller than me, bitch. <laughs> eh. You're just compensating. Fuck you. Anyways. <laughs> hello, Danger Noodle. Sorry I've been gone for so long. But, um... Also, Engaged. Bookworm, I have a, a good question to ask you. Um, basically... That's not accurate to real life, right? Fuck you. <laughs> anyway. Exactly. Compensate him. <laughs> Anyways, the question I have for you is... What would happen if I send North Korea a dead pig dressed as Peppa Pig? Anyways, let's go ahead and start the game. <laughs> Probably nothing. I highly doubt it would make it into the country. <laughs> what if it did? <laughs> but, uh, make sure you don't... Uh, be be sure to, uh... Yeah. Uh... Be, uh, be sure to not put a return address. <laughs> Or is it? Wait, I just realized I don't know Hatchet's height. I'm assuming they're taller than you. <laughs> I'm 6'3. Now you're 3'6. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> I, I have to constantly clean the underside of my uh, mouse pad with a Clorox wipe. <laughs> to get it to fucking dick <laughs> book says oh damn so tall thank you <laughs> first thing I thought was gonna be something spooky it says but look at what it's saying greetings neighbor <laughs> that's what broke it's a good me <laughs> Salutations! Would you like some Christmas pudding? Hot thou arrived to borrow sweet gra granules of sugar? <laughs> Behold, as thou may witness, naught but flesh doth I possess to present unto thee! All the ghosts apparently are required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. Bruh. This isn't Macbeth. You read too uh -huh. much poetry. <laughs> you read too much. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. Tis time for you to... <laughs> oh, fucking hell. To compartmentalize. Oh, I didn't notice because of where I was standing when his torso was at the bottom. <laughs> this is normal. Don't worry, everything's normal. Everything's fine. Oh. That's normal. <laughs> the freezer isn't full of human meat. This freezer isn't full of human meat. What ails thee? Oh, wait, so but... we have to get around the economic sanctions of the U.S. put on North Korea first, lol. But as the headline of one site said, it's possible but not easy. <laughs> so I could send the leader of North Korea dead pig. <laughs> You'd probably need to need to be like a stuffed pig. Yeah. Uh, taxidermied because like... If it's actually rotting, there's no way that gets through at all. Yeah, but have it dressed like Peppa Pig, they'll probably see it and wonder, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what, bro? <laughs> Real talk. Yes. One of your eventual channel goals should be to get a taxidermied Peppa Pig. <laughs> get a taxidermied fucking pig. <laughs> that was like an old pig, you know, they lived a long, good life. Yeah. They died of old age. And taxidermy said pig, and then dressed them like Peppa Pig. 
and then that's that that that's that's a channel meme. Every night, oh dead God. Peppa Pig is staring at you <laughs> while you sleep. I would probably just laugh. <laughs> so you I've wake seen up worse. and dead Peppa Pig sits there. I mean, I've seen worse, so it probably I mean, won't yeah. bother me. <laughs> I would imagine, yeah. <laughs> it would just make me laugh. Wonder what it would do to Busta. <laughs> it must would Busta be... be scared of dead Peppa Pig? He may try to eat it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Busta. I mean, he ate a table, so I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> What am I supposed to- Oh! Oh, gotta go grab the flesh. <laughs> gotta love gotta win. It. Gotta am I win. supposed to grab the torso now? Nope. Maybe you should go grab the other thing still out there in the void. I can't. Oh, then look for another path. The pan is empty. Alright. Ashley already cooked one. <laughs> Who's this random bitch over there? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you just... Why are you just going around immediately calling women bitches? You bitch. It's missing can. Oh, wait, that's the wrong voice. It's missing candles. It's missing candles. <laughs> oh. That's normal. What are you doing here? Oh. Oh, it's a little. You just called <laughs> little Lele a <laughs> bitch. I mean, she is. Yeah, it's acceptable. But not the child Lele. <laughs> Okay, actually, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> you forgot she did murder. <laughs> well, I still don't know if you could classify that as murder. Maybe second degree. Yeah. Probably second degree, or third degree, depending on where you are. Mm-hmm. What? What? Why are you yelling at me? Because fuck you. Could you hear Festus? No. <laughs> Just get over here and meow into the microphone. Oh yeah, Bookworm, how's my voice sound? Is it better than last time? Like I said, your voice is still awful, but at least the mic quality's better. Go fuck yourself, Hatchet. Festus. I've got a boy. Anyway. I, uh... Actually, no. Don't answer. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. That is her... Yawa? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Pokemon says much better. Forget this. Oh, great. Oh, She's you're following me. Like <laughs> Stop following me, you little shit. Ugh. Ah, get your ass out of my face. Jesus. What? Festus. <laughs> what, did you leave just to immediately come back? What is your damage? What do you want? What is it you want? Gods, I love you. But you're stupid. Stupid like a cat. Dora has no handle, nor will it budge. What? 
Oh, let me get that. Lily like places a candle on the candle holder. Nothing oh, happens. You're welcome. Use your lighter to light the candle. Oh, what the your ass out of my face. <laughs> where the fuck did that come from? Uh, you can see it now because of the candle. Oh, wow, that's a dick move. Two oh dick my moves. God. Oh my god. This, oh. <laughs> that is infuriating. Um. 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 Okay, so first I see girl on bed. Uh, what's up with the tiny little <laughs> demon baby thing there? I don't know. I wonder if this is Andy's ex-girlfriend. Oh yeah, it's 100% Andy's ex-girlfriend. Someone stares inside the room with an unblinking gaze. Julia. You've been quiet all day, what's up? Oh, she's cute. Oh fuck, I don't- Okay, what- What's Julia's voice? I have no idea. <laughs> uh... Okay, you know what? Let's go with this. Layer. Oh god. N no It's... It's nothing! Your sister's hella crazy- Oh my- Oh my god, I want her. And <laughs> shit. You have to fight me I for. <laughs> no, fuck you. <laughs> You're ace. I'm gray ace. <laughs> so what does that matter? Not much, but it's a thing. <laughs> it means I'm statistically more likely to want to fuck. Who says that? Anyway. Who says anything about me not wanting to fuck her? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said it makes it statistically more likely. I didn't say it's 100% more likely. But, oh my god, I love her. <laughs> she's god, probably gonna die. Art style. She, well, I think she's like the ex that ended up breaking up with Andy because Lele is fucking insane. Fair. But, oh my... Uh, okay. Your Julia on the back of my head to look up later. <laughs> Book from Omen okay, G. On. I think that's the, uh, his, the reaction to us fighting over yeah. Julia. <laughs> Look, I don't give a shit. Bonk me all you want. She's fucking hot. Oh, bonk yourself. <laughs> yeah. Goddamn God bookworms fighting us for her too. <laughs> that's like, it's a it's a love okay. It's a love square. <laughs> it's not even a square. It's a love. Uh, asterisk. I don't know. <laughs> she is cute little. Okay. Okay, there's a simple solution for all of this. Polyamory. Let's do this. Anyway. <laughs> or. Plus she's got Master Chief's voice, which is a massive plus. Oh my god. Or. Actually. It. Oh, I was about to say it. <laughs> I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. True, Julia deserves <laughs> multiple partners. Exactly. <laughs> With that much build up, you kind of have to now. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh. Hatch is My dying. Heart. Hatch is dying. My heart. I love her. Ah, uh, ha. Well, okay, Layer. But please don't get mad. 
When have I ever once even raised my voice with her? You know you can tell me anything. Oh. Oh. oh, she has a sister. She broke me. This character has broken me. <laughs> I, like I thought, like Ashley was like, like in the back of my head throughout this entire thing. My brain is going, I can fix her. I can fix her. But Ashley, oh God, is not. Oh. Julia, why did brain. I get bonked and not hatch it? <laughs> because you immediately pointed out her sister with a with, <laughs> with your tone. <laughs> I uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me that maybe it's like maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independent yes 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 oh my god at the same time maybe I'm fine with Ashley screwing this relationship over so I can have Julia <laughs> also Andy doesn't deserve Julia. He definitely deserves a lay label. Well, to be fair, and I think, I think Andy is like the significantly more morally sound character. Mm -hmm. Like outside of his incredibly abusive relationship with Lele, I feel like he would be a reasonably grounded, chill guy to be around. As well like, as someone he can the... call for murder. Well, he's got the vibe of, like, you know what? He's got the vibe of, like, a really chill stoner. <laughs> His eyes are green, too, so it's perfect. Oh, my God. Anyway. Even if it's just for her own sake, you know? Oh, my gosh. I just noticed this, but the thing next to that bus stop... That's supposed to be like a trash can or whatever. No, I, don't say it. Do it, not it either say looks it. like a thumb, a, a it. butt plug, or Among Us. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you know where I was going. <laughs> That is big clip where I just torture yeah, hatchet. Clip and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Here, did you read this line? Uh, yeah, I did. And maybe for. Oh my. Oh. She's blushing. Julia. Julia. My heart! <laughs> Is it normal to get this immediately fixated on a fictional character? Maybe. I mean, if it isn't normal, I when have I ever cared about being normal? Fair. And maybe, for our sake, who? Book says kinda. Alright, fair. I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often and not like always cut things short or cancel on me so much oh sorry i i'm not reprimanding you I can't make her learn anything, though. N no but you could, like, you know, not always go when she asked. Your sister needed something, wouldn't you, girl? 
Well, yes, but she only asks if she actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up at all. No, no, it's fine. I'm, I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way back when. Ashley may not all look like it, but it, it, I think it affected her a lot too. Wait a minute. Oh he, no. He's, he's dating the grown up friend of the girl that had a crush on him when they were kids that they fucking Thanos snapped with her asthma. Damn. Jesus. So that's probably why she is how she is. I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? Mutter, mutter. She's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. N no, nothing. No. Anyway. Oh my god. Anyway, I worry about what happened. Oh, wait. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. So I can't let either of you out of my sight. Fine for the leader. <laughs> but yeah, real talk. In terms of, like, my tastes in a fictional character, mm -hmm. eye patches or hair constantly covering the eye. Um. <clears throat> one of the, one of the, mm, I love it. No one, uh, actually come to think of it, no wonder, uh, uh, my brain just died. Mm -hmm. No wonder Hanji remained throughout one of my absolute favorite Attack on Titan characters. Mm. Though she is also almost certainly somewhat based off of Odin. Oh my like god. Well. Bookworm just sent me something called Torturing oh Hatchet with Among Us. <laughs> Thank you, Buck. Thanks, Buck. Fuck you, Bright. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll be fine if you're with me. Oh wait, not Among Us. It's Among Us. Oh my god. Among Us. The Pokemon. Among Us. Among Us. I think that's how the Pokemon spelled. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway. Would you tie your hair up for me? No! You'll pull on it again! <laughs> ah, but don't you know it's how boys shut a love? Well, that's just awful! I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long. I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. He's not gonna take you back, you know. When did I ask you? You'll never see her again. No, if... I want to see more Julia. And the fact that it doesn't really bother you... ...bothers you. You know what, Julia probably is absolutely better off, but I want to see more Julia. Yeah. What do you hope to find in there, pervert? 
<laughs> that was her closet. Study supplies such as pencils. The trash is full of letters. Mostly death threats. <gasps> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> to the fan sites with you, Ashton. <gasps> oh, oh that's probably Ashley this. out there. I said that earlier. You forgot my brain's fucked up. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, it sure is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great, hand them up. Ah, uh, no way. As <laughs> nicely killer. <laughs> uh. And I can't okay. save. <laughs> I'm right, which... I don't... No, no, book. I don't want Ashley to die. But also... Uh... I don't know, Bright. This is your playthrough. You do what you will. And we'll just have to remember this save. Like, don't save over this save. And we can come back here at some other point. What are you doing? I'm messing with buttons to see if there was another button that I can use. Oh god damn it. Why? Why would you assume that? May I have yeah. one of the the candles, please. Nope. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's a cake anymore. Just eat it then. The, that way you can pretend you ate the cake and you won't need the candles anymore. <laughs> the book says, well, we just gotta do a kill Lele run after this. It's too precious to eat. God, you're such a bull today. Okay, whatever. Oh, wait. There's nothing to light. Oh, now, maybe we uh, take one of the candles. Nope, we can't. Maybe the other candle? Did you actually, like, have to kill her? I don't know. Nope, can't click it. Try, try interacting with that TV. White noise. Even in your dreams, the entertainment sucks. Wait, you you also passed over something. No the papers. Oh, papers. Uh. The what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring. I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave this spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. Time to go steal them from your bitch ex girlfriend. Yeah. I'm sorry, Julia. I got into character. Please, Julia. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, if I nick myself, I can get red. I get you your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. Oh, I'm finally alone now. Although, like, there are some absolutely wonderful paintings drawn with blood. 
Blood art is like a very underrated macabre art form. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm. Good call. Oh my god, yes, a fine melee. Well, I mean, that's kind of what I've been going for the whole time. Is like that valley girl, yes, fine. Oh, I just oh. learned something interesting today. I meant to tell you, okay. Hatcher, the book. Um, apparently, scammers have found a way to use AI to use the voice of your family members to try and scam you out of your money on the phone. Oh, it's, yeah, I've heard about that. It's, sure. a, it's a thing, and I was like, what the fuck? It's just get enough fucking voice clips of a person. You can use AI to fucking mimic them. Mm-hmm. What a wonderful world! <laughs> it sounds about right for the hellscape we're in. It's this book. Anyone ready? A anyone else ready for iRobot to happen? Yes. Anyone? Anyone want to go with that outcome? Yes, I would love to. The you know fuck a robot or be fucked by one. That's not what happened in that movie. It's what happened in my movie. <laughs> There's a lot of movies like that. You don't need to you don't need to water down the porn genre with whatever the fuck you would make. It's on OnlyFans. Have fun. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Before I forget most of the plot of iRobot. Basically, it's a uh, exploration of the, uh, like, an element of the logical uh, issues with uh, AI, specifically, like, I think it's heavily based on the paperclip issue, or the paperclip problem, mm -hmm. where basically mm -hmm. someone, uh, ba basically, that question is... What would happen if you told an extremely powerful AI mm -hmm. that its mm -hmm. one purpose is to create as many paper clips as possible? The logical consequences of that is uh, terrifying because if an AI has access to all the means to make said paper clips, that means the AI likely has literally no concern for anything surrounding it. So if it focuses entirely on making paper clips, it starts using all of the metals to make paper clips. Everything is paper clips. We're going to run out of things that aren't paper clips. It's a pretty similar concept to that, where I, I guess spoilers for the like two or three decade old movie, but uh, it's it's yeah. I know none of this. When I, I knew none of this when I watched it. <laughs> yeah, fair. Basically, uh, it's, um, it's showing how, like, basing, like, with robots and AIs, focusing entirely on percentages and, uh, having these hard-lined rules, said hard line rules can become disastrous, given the AI has enough time to think about said hardline rules and said probabilities like will smith's character is entirely driven by the fact that he hates robots doesn't trust them at all specifically because uh he was in a car accident where there was a little girl and him and they were both in a car uh and ended up on water and a robot jumped in to save them but the robot could only save one and the robot calculated that it had a better chance of saving will smith rather than the little girl so it saves will smith rather than the little girl though so because it's focused so much on percentages 
it doesn't it, it it goes for what at the very least for us humans reasonably would be considered the lesser of the two options morally and with the paperclip idea basically one of uh the hardline rules for uh robots is uh that their ultimate goal is to only help humanity the best they can so mm -hmm. the ai eventually came to the conclusion that humans are really fucking dumb so let's just lock all the humans up to protect them see how that can go it's it's basically a very dramatic cinematic uh exploration of that idea it was a good movie i liked it yeah anyways yeah book says oh yeah i remember that interesting yes anyway well whatever as a thank you i'll give you a candle Read it carefully, as if it were me. I immediately smash it on the ground. <laughs> uh. I'm lighting it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Not? Aww. Oh, Bookworm had the same idea. That's flames for you. Oh, hold on. And then he made it easy. Hey, Festus! Best is playing with a Jolly Rancher rapper. At the end of this stream, I think Bright said that they're going to end it off at, uh, one for them. Uh, would you be down to, uh, uh, check out and see how well my, uh, streaming works with Skyrim now that I have the graphics card? Or you think you're going to be getting too tired or... Need to go bad by that time. Sure. I imagine I'd probably only make it for about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Yeah, like with the new graphics card, um, without streaming. I'm having Skyrim playing at the highest, uh, like, vanilla graphic settings with basically no performance scripts.
So I'm kind of, I'm pretty excited to play this. Plus, I know exactly what sort of build I want to make this descendant of Hatchet the Orc. Because, uh, if you didn't know this book, Skyrim is the first Elder Scrolls game, to my knowledge, that has dual wielding as an option. So I'm gonna make this descendant of Hatchet the Orc wielding two hatchets. He's going to be wielding two battle axes. Because that is the most appropriate thing. And I saw Bright's mouse move, so I think Bright is about that. What the fuck were you guys talking about? Well, first I got onto Festus because he was playing with a Jolly Rancher. Mm hmm. To watch me stream. Oh, I'm just okay. grabbing what I would be doing. Okay, I thought you were playing, like, set my chat on fire or some bullshit. Or some bullshit. Why would that be your... Okay, actually, no, never mind. That's an entirely reasonable assumption. <laughs> Got a candle. Alright, time that left the bitch away. Book says I have a new sound alert from Tangia that would be the perfect game, or perfect for this game. Placed and lit the candle. Was all this legal? That's normal. Not. What's the sound alert, Book? <laughs> Book. It was. It was saying like the guy was saying, "Is it? Is this legal? No, absolutely not." As soon as this thing appeared, <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Timing. <laughs> Found Ashley in the closet. There you are, you menace. Ta da! I'm missing the limb, you good. I figured you have it. It's in your stomach, right? And my. Are you going to cut me up to get it? Uh, Logar says, I think, I think it's from the Wolf of Wall Street. I think it's DiCaprio's character who says it, I mean. Yeah, that was, I, yeah. I, I looked at it. That was 100% Leonardo. Ah. I'd rather not. What do you need it for, anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. This one you had to get before he got you. It worries you someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy. Got a severed limb. Oh, I forgot what voice I gave this guy. Decisions. No, that's not it. Oh yeah, something like this. Whatever. Well met, young Greaves. Dost thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth. I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust. Perchance it may cook, but to burn? I know it not. I mean, there's freezer burn. I don't. Well, it's not actually burning, but also yeah. this is. This is. I don't know if it's just because I'm the one reading it out loud, but this just feels like I'm saying absolutely nothing at all with big words. <laughs> Verily. <laughs> I love that word. 
we we need to use that word word in common parlance more. Verily, verily, the most foolish dead thou hast ever. Oh, the most foolish deed, not dead. Oh, gee, the bro broke out the verily. Verily, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some souls thought to protect themselves and kindle the flame which engulfed all. Place all several limbs in the freezer. This reminds you of something. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. Open it, you bitch. Rise and shine, Nina. <laughs> oh, this is the morning after. Mm -hmm. Did you have a fun night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. <laughs> there is no answer. Huh. Guess she's still sleeping. Lele kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, down. You open the crate. Lele, that's your reaction? Girl. Oh. Uh, oops. Wait, wait, what? Why is she dead? How did she... What? Th 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 that can't be right. What's going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you died just that, just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Jesus fucking Christ. I, I can fix her. No, you can't. I, I really want to hope I can fix her. Just shut Jesus up. Jesus fucking. Just shut up. <laughs> Forget this. Let's just leave her here. Since she took the stick off, it looks like she went there on her own anyway. No, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the crate until her fingernails split if she was there willingly? Oh, wow. Well. Uh, okay, this is okay, actually reminding so... me of the back then with coffins, how some, uh, some people were actu actually buried alive. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley. I mean, that's a very tempting book, but also Ashley. <laughs> uh, my brain. Fuck you. Then again, there's also Ashley's mom. Oh my god. I do like the tired book. Anyway, uh, the other thing I was going to say is all this is making me think of is one of the most beautiful uh, ending songs to attack on Titan. Oh my god. Which is called, uh... What is it? Uh... Who am I no Ko? I think it is. Which is literally translated to Child of Evil. Oh god. It's referencing Aaron in that in, in that song. And now I think it... And, and that just comes to mind when I think of Lele now. <laughs> 
of the shit she's doing as a child is like nine times worse than the shit Aaron did as a child. Like, yeah. It's just Aaron grew up to be significantly more of a monster overall. Mm hmm. Oh, book says, OMG, so I have the stream up on my phone, and when I leave Twitch and rejoin it on my phone, I see the part of the screen when Julia was on screen and... Mm, what? Book's having thoughts about Julia. Oh my god, I want to test that out myself. We really do need a bonk bookworm command. Nope, I just see li what we see now. What? Quietly thirsty is five. Bookworm. <laughs> well, I don't think we have it because bookworm doesn't, uh, doesn't you know, go horny a lot. I mean, true, but it's, it's all in fairness, you know? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, anyway. Discord was cutting me off. Oh, I wasn't noticing anything. Well, I I usually had to sometimes repeat myself. It made it look like I was saying what I was saying. Oh. Yeah. Anyways. It was only because I minimized it before. We also truly just need a bonk everyone for deep. That's true. We need a bonk book and a bonk everyone. Omnibonk. It needs to be called the Omnibonk. Oh my god. Or just call it Bonk again. Those are both really good ideas. You know what? Just make them both. And while you're at god. it, uh, make the no cursing redeem. Oh my god. There already is or a not no, the cursing. no cursing. There's, I was about to say, I there's mean, already a it. no cursing redeem. I mean the no pervert redeem. Fuck. <laughs> And no cursing. Oh, I got. I fucked up bookworm as well. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, there's four viewers all of a sudden. No one shows up for two for me. Oh, I see four. Anyway. Oh, well. Uh, it's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. No, she'll... It'll start ratting. Oh, Zonju's here. <laughs> Zonju! <laughs> Hi, Zonju. Hi, Zonju. Nothing to see here. We to totally weren't thirsting over a character in this game. And and someone will come looking and find it. I mean, her family... Uh, what did I just say? A framery <laughs> instead of family? <laughs> <laughs> her family was our friend looking for us. Only a mad, mad, mad. I hate. Oh, you. thank Spider you, Bookworm. Has gifted a sub to Zanju. Bitly and Air coming in clutch. Oh yeah, I should probably state this now because I already told Hatchet this. Yeah, I'm gonna because of everything that's been happening lately. Instead of continuing till next week. I'm just going to stop the uh, horror-a-thon, horrific non subathon subathon thing uh, this Thursday. Yeah. And then I'll probably uh, be streaming more uh, during that time. And hopefully, you, you know what? For my birthday, we need to do like something that we can both stream simultaneously. We need to do a proper collab. Oh, good. What did you say? I said we could. Oh, okay, we could. It sounded like you said, mm, good. <laughs> mm, good. 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 Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> back to the incest cannibalism game. Screw it. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> now, now Maria Carey has been released fully from containment. Bro, I don't know who the fuck they are. Who the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, is that the person who sang that fucking Christmas song that gets stuck in everyone's head? That says, oh, yup, yeah. yup, 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 I was right. <laughs> don't you don't you have Turkey Day before that? Let's see, my birthday... Oh, wait, no, before Christmas. Yes, Turkey Day is before Christmas, but there's already Christmas stuff out. Yeah, I've seen Christmas stuff out in August. Yeah, like, my mom was seeing Christmas stuff out earlier this month. Like, earlier in October. Yeah. You anyway. expect when we exist in a fucking system that's based solely on profit, and the holidays are the most profitable time, so they hyper-focus on it to the point that it just becomes all-consuming. Yeah. Anyways. Eventually, fucking July... They'll start putting out Christmas stuff. I mean, the Hallmark Channel plays Christmas movies year-round. I think occasionally. Though they really start, like, basically doing nothing but Christmas starting around August. Yeah. I know this because my mom records almost all of them. <laughs> my, my mom <laughs> records... <laughs> Almost every single rom com from Christmas time from Hallmark tries to do other rom coms. Well, I mean, they do a lot, but they definitely do air an occasional Christmas thing year round. Yeah. But my mom records all, every single one of them basically mm -hmm. to either rewatch or watch. And then, like, she's watching Christmas Hallmark movies until, like, fucking July. And then <laughs> she just waits a couple months and they start airing them again. Oh my god. It's one of the most subtly, uh, unhinged things my mom does. But it's also <laughs> really cute. And I love her. <laughs> Anyways. I mean, her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time before they come check here. So, what do we do that? Um, I... Fuck. Let's just hide it then. What? Huh? Are they not even gonna try and resuscitate? Oh wait, they're children. <laughs> they're children, and she's probably been dead for hours, right? <laughs> If no one knows, then it's not a problem. It's only a crime if you get caught. Who you know, do I sound like? You know, some bodies don't get found because they put a a few feet above the body. They put an animal. So when a cop digs up the animal's corpse, they think the dog's just swimming the corpse of the animal. Let's not give tutorials <laughs> about how to hide bodies. <laughs> Although, yeah, that's an incredibly smart way to go about that. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna that's know, one thing they're I surprisingly... Know. That's one thing I surprisingly haven't heard in, mm -hmm. like, my my long chunk of, like, being obsessed with true crime. Yeah. Even though it's really smart. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the... Well, you see, that's the thing genuinely smart things mm -hmm. that are done to hide crimes are also the ones that we're least likely to talk about yeah. because they don't happen often yeah. most like like i think there's like at like the most generous estimates is that like 20 percent of homicides actually lead to a conviction mm -hmm. it's like insanely easy to get away with this shit if you're that kind of person and you want to, this is not a, this, I, we do not condone committing acts of grievous homicide. Yeah. But, 
the police are kind of fucking stupid. Mm hmm. Like, if you know what you're doing, it's really easy to do. Yeah. Anyways. I'll find yeah, a body. The, oh, sorry. The book says, yeah, because the people in true crime, crime are dummies. They just get lucky. They just need to watch an episode of Detective Conan. Boom. Unstoppable. <laughs> 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 You know what I always say? Model everything you do in life off of various anime. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. They'll find a body and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too. It's fine if it's the fault of You're not gonna be together, girl. Yeah. You're gonna be in different wings. Or hell, in some states, they're at two different places. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, you fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're gonna <laughs> take you away from me. How was I? It's a... Oh my god. He's so fucking stupid. Yep. How am I supposed to okay. know that? I guess the question is would they be tried as adults? Like, how old are they right now? Like, 10, 12, around? Like, in they that probably age range? wouldn't. Well, I know. Andy Warden because they have guilt but it like if since Lele d doesn't show any guilt they probably would well it really depends on where they're getting convicted at yeah that's what I've <laughs> seen mainly in course like if they show guilt they're not really trial as an adult yeah. but I mean uh with a case like this, like, the the most obvious response, mm -hmm. uh, if this was a just world, is, um, actually having a functional mental health institution yeah. to help these kids not be murderous little shits. And not be sent to a reunification camp. What? Oh my god, you don't know what that is. Well, it sounds familiar. Um, you would see in Trigger Warning. Uh, after sh stream, uh, may uh, okay, basically... Fuck, how do I start? I can just go look it up. Yeah. You, you... you don't want to know. Okay. It's a really fucked up system. <laughs> and Bookworm looked it up. Yep. Oh, and she. I told you, you don't want to know. <laughs> it's really fucking bad, and only one state got rid of it. I forgot what state it was. Let's see what state was it. Oh, Colorado. Yeah, one of the first things is Colorado... is a thing saying Colorado limits use of family unit reunification camps yeah what is the meaning of a reunification camp the goal is to reconnect the chill the child Ren emotionally and remember the history between alienated parent and child by reviewing photographs and mementos etc that depicted the positive relationship they exist before the parent says child preceding the alienation is this just like saying hey let's reconnect abusers to their abused children yes because we think it's such a moral ought for children to be in connection mm -hmm. with their parents 
Yep, there was even a case where some children said they were our word and they got sent to those camps. Right, so this is a good reminder uh, <laughs> for everyone that if you ever hear any leftist <laughs> with even the slightest <laughs> hint of acting as if minors are not an oppressed my an oppressed group they are fucking insane <laughs> the fact that something like this is allowed is mm -hmm. one of the most absurd absurd affront to any yeah. sense of basic decency and justice i can imagine yeah, the thing is, I think I saw a statistic saying 17,000 kids per year go to those camps. Uh, That's and a like, lot of kids. literally one of the <laughs> first things I see is uh, it being talked about. Uh, it's based upon a disputed psychological theory in which one parent and this gets hard, or uh, the remedy par parental alienation. Which is... Disproven uh, by a psychologist. Just... Yeah, like it's not even... Let me double check. National Center for State Courts. Parental alienation is a strategy whereby one parent intentionally display... displays to the child unjustified negativity aimed at another parent. The purpose of this strategy is to damage the child's relationship with the other parent and to turn the child's emotions against the other parent. I don't think that's talking about the same thing. Oh yeah, psychology today. Parental alienation occurs when a child refuses to have a relationship with a parent due to manipulation. Uh... Let's remedy parental alienation by forcing abuse victims to be back in contact with their abusers. Yep. Sweet home America. <laughs> Except for Colorado. Parental alienation can start involves a parent having come to rely on their child for emotional support. Oh my god. <laughs> Because kids can't know what's going on around them, right? Says Book. Let's see, reading from Psychology Today. Mm -hmm. The perpetrator may leverage a variety of tactics. A father could tell a child that the child's mother hates him and never wants to speak to them, when in reality, the mother calls to speak to the child every day. A mother could convince her daughter to report or even believe that the father physically abused her oh. offenders may blame the other parent for the collapse of their marriage punish the child for wanting to pursue a relationship with the parent or move away so that a maintaining a relationship is dip is extremely difficult this experience can be deeply upsetting for a child here Anyways, fight alienation. Zanju says, hearing about all these things that happen in the U.S. is like, are you guys okay? No. No. <laughs> we are yeah, not. Parent... <laughs> yeah, parents can fight alienation in court, but they need to provide rigorous proof. Yeah, okay, rigorous proof. <laughs> a court may then... A court may then mandate... A reunification program in which the child spends time with the alienated parent under supervision to rebuild the relationship. Treatment may also be needed to address the child's trauma. No fit. Many relationships fractured by parental alienation can deal with time. It's handled through civil proceedings and is not an arrestable offense. Some believe that parental alienation should be criminalized due to the nature of the Others argue against criminalization because parental alienation is difficult to prove and is not a diagnosable syndrome. 
Is parental alienation a form of child abuse? The clinical understanding of parental alienation is evolving. It is not listed as a disorder in the DSM-5, but some suggest that it could fall under parent-child relational problem as one of the set of concerns that may merit clinical attention. Some researchers believe that the experience is a form of emotional child abuse and family violence. So the question is... Okay, yeah, that's the thing. A lot of this is focusing highly on... the parents rather than the effects on the child. And, like, the sheer nature of this is going to see children who have purposefully alienated themselves from an abusive parent being forced to be near said parent again. Yeah. I'd have to, like, look into a proper, mm -hmm. uh, breakdown of this, but just yeah, on the surface, this is... Yeah, the, you did, never knew these existed. But I've never heard of this, no. Colorado's the only state that says, yeah, th th yeah, this is fucked up, we should get rid of this. <laughs> yeah, I gotta have a parental figure. Yeah, that's the big thing, it's like, this idea that kids need specific, almost always it's specifically, kids need a man and a woman in their lives. Despite every fucking study. Yeah. It seems, uh, oh, my head hurts. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure these camps get a lot of money. Like, no doubt they get a lot of money. This is such a mess. I pretty much just single handedly broke the stream. Yeah. <laughs> Usually it's through a game. On one hand, <laughs> it's basically on one hand, some of the stuff is very reasonably talking about like people being like basically one parent actually genuinely manipulating their kids to like, weaponizing their kids against a previous or current partner. Mm -hmm. And the effects that that has on the kids and the partners. It's... Uh. Anyways, we're ready to go back. And stop thinking about how fucked up our country is. Not much like seconds, finding it, yeah, finding the funding on reunification camps, but it's probably a state by state thing. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a sec. I'm still reading this.
silence of the fucked up camps. Anyway, Bookworm, how are you doing right now? While we're waiting on Hatchet to finish reading, how are you doing? So basically, mm -hmm. what I'm saying here is basically an issue that ought not be handled by the legal system in any regard. Mm -hmm. Because basically, it's an extremely complicated web of, like, Basically, parental alienation seems to be an actual thing in the sense of it happens, like, people do use their children as weapons against other people and against other partners. Mm -hmm. The issue comes in when we are now creating a precedent for forcing people to reconnect. That's yeah. that's the biggest issue there. This ought to be done entirely, like, properly, consensually, without any sort of force between parties. Not using the legal system. Mm -hmm. Specifically with the parents and the child. And if there's a situation of a parent getting in the way of a child wanting to reconnect with a parent, which is, like, quite literally what seems to be the case with a lot of parental alienation stuff that I'm seeing. And now that needs to be dealt with accordingly, but... It's, uh... It's a fucking mess. Especially when you send SA victims to reunification camps. Yeah. Uh down to how calm it is for parents to use their kids against each other when abuse isn't involved that would be important to know if we and it also comes down to how calm it's oh that is true bookworm bookworm says yeah and it also comes down to how common it is for parents to use their kids against each other when abuse isn't involved that would be more important to know if we could yeah I think all of the story is, mm -hmm. uh, one, the very concept of reunification camps fundamentally goes against the human right of freedom of association and movement. Yep. And two, it is fundamentally and it is fundamentally opposed to the human rights of children for said children to be used as weapons in adult interpersonal relationships. Mm -hmm. Because it could be seen as using the kid when it's trying to protect them from an abusive parent. Yeah, like that's that's the thing, like because we've got both cases of someone that is actually using their kid to attack someone as well as exactly what you're saying, someone trying to protect their kid from an abuser. So it's... Ah... Uh, yeah. Anyways, we're ready to go back. Parental abuse is an absurdly nuanced, complicated thing that it's almost never adequately handled by any legal system. Let's put it that way. Oh my god, I, you know what I just realized? What and if abuse I, in general, really. What Go if ahead. I brought my shit to court? Would they actually send me to one of those camps? We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we ready to go back? Uh... 
Plus, I was under the impression that these camps specifically target attempting to reunify, like, actual miners with people. True. Yeah, you might be too old. Uh... God, my head hurts. That was a rabbit hole. You can probably Why get did you have to bring that up? I'm sorry. You might- <laughs> You could probably get emancipated, though, if they tried anything. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anyways. Three, two, one. It's like, like, when I look it up, I'm seeing mm -hmm. reasonably trustworthy sources talking yeah. about it in, like, a sense of there is, like, parental alienation that happens, but I guess the question commonly comes down to how is how is parental alienation being framed? I think that's a mm -hmm. good way to put it. Is it being framed as it is inherently a parent's right to be in contact with their children, or is it being framed as we need to find ways to avoid abuse? Right. Makes some impatient with regards to children and parents involves when the state officially recognizing the parent has no claim to the child. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, you ready to continue reading? Uh my head is killing me. <laughs> hey, at least you learned something new today. Thanks. <laughs> I was like, uh... Because, like, that's the thing. It's very easy for my brain to go down the route of this is all... Yeah, but it was... Yeah, yeah. Like... It's very easy for my brain to go down the route of saying well, this is all bullshit. This is just all downstream of the idea that parents have a right to their children. But at the very least, the sources that I'm finding from, like, reasonably trustworthy psychological stuffs aren't framing it like that. They're more focusing on how children are used as fools and abuse. Yeah. And the effects of that on both the kids and the parents. But in any case, I will again reiterate, this shit is not something to be handled by the by of all systems, the United States justice system. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. On top of all the other bad shit going on. Uh, it's just... God's my head hurts. And I'm pretty sure this will be going on for years, book. <laughs> oh, thank I you, mean, bookworm. The fire red emblem has gifted uh, a sub to the Elvis... I mean, the alienation thing, yeah, obviously. Oh. This is a pretty... <laughs> Do you you thing. came at an interesting time, Norse Wolf Demigod Rika. Very interesting time. <laughs> Welcome to the oh, stream. Yeah, thank you for the follow. Yep. Uh, Actually, you know what? Let's just be frank, okay? If someone clicks onto this, knowing anything about what the coffin of Andy and Lele is about, and they don't expect the conversation to generally surround surround familial abuse. Then what are you fucking doing? <laughs> what rock have you been living under? This game is literally just all about familial abuse. Oh my, go oh my gosh, thank you, Bookworm. Fire Red Emblem has gifted a sub to North Wolf <laughs> Demigod Rika. Oh, made that a bit oh. bigger. Anyway. Hyperfixation. Aim elsewhere. Back to Lele. Back to incest cannibal game. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is my life? <laughs> trouble, I'm trouble. Yeah. Anyways. For your trouble of joining the stream. Yeah, here's here's something worth five bucks. <laughs> Which technically all you actually did was reward Bright for this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, and they answered. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, Norse Wolf, Demigod, Rika, yeah. how's it going? 
Okay, I think we should. I think I think I'm just gonna call you Norse Wolf <laughs> or Rika. Or, uh, tell us how you would prefer because we need to fucking shorten that goddamn name. <laughs> I'm fine with saying the full name. I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> right. Yes. Your name can be said with a single syllable. Greetings. Call me Rika. Okay. There we go. Yes. Single syllable. I don't even know what I was going with that. Hyperfixation. Back to the incest game. <laughs> Away from legalizing solutions surrounding incredibly complex abuse situations. Oh my God, God, my head hurts. Anyways. <clears throat> or, anyway. You figure something out then, since you're so smart. Okay, okay. Let's just, uh, like, move us somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. Alright, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Yeah, yeah, that is probably fine. But first, we need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can see us carry her there. Oh, this will work. This one's too big and heavy. And apparently not. This will have to do. That's one of those. That's a story for pop culture. Pleased to meet you all. Oh, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Got tired. I misread that for a second. <laughs> what did you think I said? Or what it said? Uh, <laughs> what did you think it said? I thought it said tart. Oh. That's not what I thought you were going to say. What would you think I was going to say, huh? Like carp? Like the fish? <laughs> I'm not that obsessed with fish. <laughs> ignore, my, ignore my fucking... Uh, ignore my fucking Twitch layout and page. Don't look at that. No. <laughs> Anyways... Oh. Also, your birthday's tomorrow. Oh, oh, happy okay. birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Anyways, you wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. Okay, that needs to be clipped. Ah, happy birthday. You wrap the corpse in the tarp. <laughs> I couldn't find a stubble, but I figured these wooden planks would work. <laughs> that would just make it really a lot harder to dig. <laughs> Children don't know how to dig. <laughs> okay. I mean, they're kind of shovely. Just watch for Splinter. Splinter's are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy dig spot. Got a wooden plank. Maybe here. There doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. Oh, well, that was fast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. That's not very deep. Yeah, that's a pretty shallow grave. Yeah, this is way harder than I thought it would be. The average untrained chihuahua would probably find this grave. Yeah. Isn't this Devanov already? This <laughs> game is morbid as hell. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, we got cyclically abusive, incestuous relationships. We got cannibalism. We got child murderers. We got yeah. Demons. And I think the demons are the least dark part about it all. 
It's morbid. <laughs> I guess. I mean, any wild animals will probably find it too. Yeah. A grave should be six feet, right? Forget it. She fixed here just fine. I. Okay, fine. Besides, how the fuck are you two tiny little shits gonna dig six feet down? Yeah. You and Lele push the grave into its grave. Oh, push the grave into its grave! <laughs> <laughs> I push the grave into its grave. It's so much better if you also mix the grave with body. Yeah. <laughs> Push the grave into its body. Oh my god, Lord Fright, you're funny, thank you. <laughs> anyway. 90, uh, like, fair warning. 90% uh, of her intentional humor is just saying the word penis. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> she's genuinely funny, uh, just because she's dumb a lot of the times. Fuck you. <laughs> but we love her. But we love her. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you and Lele, you and Lele push the body into its grave. Oh my gosh, this is sh <laughs> that is so noticeable. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't look natural at all. No shit. <laughs> Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. I guess. <laughs> I, should we try to explain to the child murderers <laughs> that attempting to hide the body would increase a prison sentence? Probably. Oh. I don't think they'll understand, though. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be bad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's find a mayor. No. It can't be this. It's obviously a, This is... It's obvious of a spot. It needs to be hidden, too. Wanna hide it with some leaves and such? Oh my god. God damn it, Buster. This is Buster stream now. <laughs> he took both blankets off the bed and curled up into a ball. Nah. <laughs> you little shit. Oh yeah, Rika, uh... She is enjoying this. Yes, Lele is... Lele is Lele. Yeah. For reference, Rika, uh, Busta is Bright's uh, service dog. Very lovable pit bull. Also, don't tell Bright, but Busta is a secret agent for the rest of the server to keep an eye on her. I can hear you. No, you can't. What? What are you talking about? I understand that. Yeah. Oh my god, that looks even worse. How did you manage to make it look more conspicuous? <laughs> Okay, okay, to be fair, these are stupid children. Maybe. I wonder if Dr. Bright does SCP fights. Maybe. <laughs> that's actually an interesting idea. That's what- that's what testing is. I don't think that's how testing normally works. Well, with 6 day 2 it is. Wow. <laughs> You can't okay. tell me I'm That's wrong. Not... Okay. <laughs> well, fair enough. I don't think, but have they tried? Have they tried showing six eight two uh oh nine six's face? Yes. Oh nine six is terrified of six eight two now. Damn. Six eight two is left with just the head after the ordeal. Damn. I mean, at least he kind of fucked them up. And I love the SCP fights. 
Yeah. But I think also 096 took a lot of damage, too. I mean, I would imagine. Quite literally, unstoppable force meets immovable object. Yeah. They're both gonna come out of it worse for worse. Yeah. How about Abel versus the Japanese slash? I don't know. Anyways. How about Abel versus Godzilla? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, Hatchet. Oh, yes. This looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something to hold them in place. Oh my gosh, are we gonna put the rocks on top of them? That's gonna make it worse. God stone. Oh my Wait, god. <laughs> they're kid. They, it's not a plot hole that they're so fucking stupid. They're children. <laughs> Move on, brain. <laughs> it's just. This is so awful. I love this game's humor. Because it's the sort of thing that makes me feel bad about the fact that I'm laughing at it. Yeah. That's my kind of humor. Anyways. When it's done right. Yeah. Anyways. Go ahead. <laughs> it's totally not a burial place, officer. Look away, please. It's more than humor. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It makes me want to write her name on. <laughs> like, like. Out of the question. I wasn't going to do it. I was just saying. She would probably just write bitch. Probably. <laughs> Caroline's bitch. She took my brother's attention away from me. Oh my god. No, wait, it's not even she took his attention away from her. It's she threatened to take his attention away from her. Mm -hmm. He was not at all interested in her. Or at least not significantly. Yeah. What is it now? She's hidden. Oh, I just noticed Pokemon sent me... Sent me the happy birthday clip. Wow, wonderful. Book says, here lies the bitch who tried to take my brother away from me. What if they find it? What if police dog digs her up? Hey, so... You know, we're really playing up on the fact that we're talking to a couple of stupid murdering children. Mm -hmm. But uh, did you know that the longer you spend next to the body, the more likely you're going to be found with the body? <laughs> Literally, this all could have been avoided if the, the dumb children had just, uh, like, attempted to say something like, Hey, we found this body. No idea how that happened. We were looking for her. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All of that would be marginally smarter than this. Yeah. In fact, that's basically exactly what the only, like, actual child murderer that comes to mind did. Well, actually, there's two. There's two I know of. But, like, one that comes to mind basically did exactly that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Bulkrum said it all could... It could have been avoided if the kids attempted to eat the body. Boom, no evidence of the body now. I wonder what if Abel versus Rick Taylor and the Terror Mask was perhaps. Oh my god. Alright. But anyway. But then, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. 
you just have to be like me and not develop object permanent. <laughs> oh my god. I need the bolt killers. Uh, did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened? Yep. For you, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Because you can't remember it anymore! Let's forget all about it. Uh, Lily, I, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. You said one thing and do another. Promise me that this time you, you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. So I'll never even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. True book. Yeah, true. <sighs> Enter won't. I don't know. That's fair. Bad, bad. It'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on ya. Oh, jeez. Ah. If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about what you did. It was technically more of her fault. Oh. Well, let's put it this way. If... If you carry out a hit on someone... Both the person who ordered the hit and the hitman are going to get put under. Yeah. Or rested. It was gonna play with you if I'm in jail. I'll send you letters. I can't read your crappy handwriting. Guess you'll just have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. I am your best friend from now on. Time to prisoner's dilemma, this bitch. Yeah. I don't think I know what that is. It's true. Yeah, you already were, Lele. Don't lie to me. I'm not, I think. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else will like <laughs> you. Jesus. Because you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. I meant that if she tells on Andrew, then she should tell on him. Then he should tell on her as well. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, of course not. You'll be in trouble, too. Oh, uh, give me a sec. No. <laughs> Okay. So what? No one likes me anyway. But that's fine because y'all be around now. Oh my god. 
God, yes. You stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could've just... I know you don't like me. Andy, I know. But that doesn't matter anymore. Because you, from now on, no one will like you either. So let's always be friends, okay? Be my friend, or... I mean, what's stopping me from killing Lele right now? Uh, basic causality. She's alive in 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 the future, so she doesn't die now. Unless I brought her alive with the Necronomicon. <laughs> that's not what the Necro. I'm pretty certain that's not what the Necronomicon is used for. <laughs> If I remember correctly, the Necronomicon is a is a book to help summon the old gods in Lovecraftian lore. Yeah, one of the old gods will bring a resurrector. <laughs> no, if you summon the entire idea behind the old gods in, a, at the very least, the majority of what I understand mm -hmm. in Lovecraftian lore is that they're quite literally sleeping. And them waking up will cause the the end of all of our reality. Oh. You're not gonna uh. get an old god to resurrect someone for you. If if you wake one of them up, we're gone. Dead. Poof. Uh well, I'll just wake them up in another reality. <laughs> <What's> up, <then? laughs> you know what? <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> this is. I need to stop trying to rationalize your bullshit. <laughs> Be my friend, or else. Uh, I'll be whatever you want me to be. You should not have said that. You could should have just said friend. But. Oh, that look on her face. I love her, but oh my god, Lele. <laughs> Lele? And from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. How? How? What? How the fuck has several days gone by without a hitch, quote unquote? Do we... Okay, no. It's entirely understandable for the fucking police to be completely fucking incompetent. That's the most normal thing about this entire situation. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Nom nom. <laughs> Why do they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. <laughs> oh, I'm just looking at it right now because I want to see how far we were. We're right near the end. Oh, we are? Yeah. Well. You wish you had the capacity to care. 
book says OMG, so I looked up Necronomicon and I found a PDF on, on the Internet Archive. Send it my way, bookworm. I need it. No, bookworm. You just use it for yourself. Don't send it to Bright. I thought there would be more to the story already. Yeah, well, it's almost right at the end. I didn't see any, what happened. I was just seeing where we were. But it oh, showed yeah, us right near the end. <laughs> I mean, I guess I think you said that it was going to be coming out in chapters, right? Yeah. But, uh. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Has anyone asked you anything about things? Makes sense, says so book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. The only thing I do hope is that they don't do a poppy playtime. If you're wondering what I mean by that, you have to pay for each chapter for Poppy Playtime. Even and uh, buy the yeah. play, base game. No, no. I I hope they don't do that. Book says also I forget how do we get into this series of flashbacks. Uh, Andy went to bed. This is him remembering all this in his dreams. Yeah. And did you say anything? Nope, I only asked Jillia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Oh no. <laughs> Why? And no, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Jillia. Uh oh. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was gonna come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, but I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're the worst. You're worse than you were before, jackass. These are Please. children oh. saying these cuss words. Yeah. <laughs> That's the most normal thing about this situation. Right? Yeah. It's not even worth mention. I gave you my ice cream, yet I'm a jackass. Uh... Wait, I see how it is. You're still pining for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. She's dead. Now you're still all about her, aren't you? It is never good enough. What a snake. I bet she... <laughs> Ashley. Girl. No, she died one of the worst ways possible. I bet she died on purpose. I bet she died on purpose when we locked her in a chest and she suffocated because of our asthma. True, but don't you? Their parents don't care enough to be one of those parents who don't want their kids to curse at all. Nah. I mean, true. <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> this is the most rational thing Andy's done in this entire, in this entire string of thoughts. I was thinking of something else. Involving a Holding knife the... and their arm. Why would that be your first assumption? I don't know. 
<laughs> Book Road, guess what I was gonna say, yeah. Dumbass. I need a nap. Huh? Where are you going? Fuck you. <laughs> Oh wait, it Oh wait, is it actually gonna go to that? You pick up a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. Got a kitchen knife. If his suffering ends. What are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I am going to make a blood oath with you. But in return, you'll have to promise me something, too. Okay? Keep my secret, and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Yes. Haha, <laughs> you're all bark, and you wouldn't do anything. If you ruin my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep up appearances move up over oh wait sorry moreover <laughs> shut up <laughs> moreover i'm doing this for you then what happens if you break the promise i won't if you won't i'm not buying that lele you are a miserable, lovesome being that was that has formed its way into every aspect of of my life, and for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy, sore spot just for you. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but shh. <laughs> Gently, you asshole. That is one cunt. <laughs> <laughs> My mind instinctively said that instead of cunt. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I, I, I guess Hatchet, you didn't hear it clearly. I said, that is one cunt. <laughs> instead of cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dipshit. I'm kinda sweet in a moldy face. <laughs> <laughs> what would we do without you, book? Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> the look on his face. <laughs> <laughs> I love this art style so much. Yeah, anyways. I just one cut something gently. Someone. <laughs> A better man would know. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> and thus, she forever keeps her mouth shut. I. <laughs> yeah, the artist did a great job. It really is a wonderful art style. <laughs> what? This is an entirely normal sibling behavior. Nothing to see here. Just smearing blood on each other's faces. This is normal. Totally won't spread infections. I mean, real talk, if, if they were gonna have infections being spread, they probably would have spread it between each other by now. Fair. Almost thing that's like... And each other's blood, too, yeah. Almost anything that's like communicable by blood is also communicable by like saliva basically any bodily fluids exchange yeah so like literally the action of eating a, like taking a bite out of a piece of toast and then Lele comes and takes a bite out of that same piece of toast would likely give them anything yeah it's not anyway. communicable like that but yeah anyway hmm 
let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. I said I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Ah, uh, wait, no. I want to do it. Too late. A promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair. Ah, uh, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority. Just not the only. That's not enough. Why can't you just... Uh... Um... So, that's definitely not something from the actual memory. This is... This has to be leaking through from the current situation. Mm -hmm. Tell our parents. Hold on. That's not what she said back then. Yeah. Do it for your cute little sister. I know you want to. <laughs> Kill them to solve all your problems. And be attempting to trick Layla into a functional relationship. Well. Tell them to feel something. Tell them for food. <laughs> Tell them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Look at the way. Good morning. Or night. It's still nighttime. What do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon. Right now. Right now. While they're asleep, I'll set the ritual up and do it. I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. So now, we're doing it anyway. Okay. Oh my, my efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. <laughs> yeah. That's Go not it. A few hours. Yeah. But you have <laughs> a point. That might... That... Oh, fuck. That might... <laughs> might mom snitch on us. <laughs> But you have a point that mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before we got out of our apartment. I don't know why I let myself think anything else while I'm talking to her. It's because at your core, there is the soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would have gobbled you up already. <laughs> what are you doing? Maybe he wants to be gobbled up. A demonstration. God, you're so fucking dumb. I should. Andrew, uh, oh, this is this is a scene that I've seen floating around. Andrew, oh my god, are you still awake? Yeah, yeah. Why are you still up? I thought you had work tomorrow. I wanted to talk to you about Ashley. Oh, no. It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. Oh wait, I, I, I mixed those up. I've been thinking things over, and I believe you owe an explanation. Oh wait, I owe, not you owe. Oh, I owe you an explanation. That's alright. I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Andrew, I understand if you're angry. That's not the right voice, damn it. She keeps turning into, into Ashley. 
<laughs> Andrew, I understand if you're angry. At least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was waiting for parents to have abandoned them purely because of Ashley. Oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind little old me. Yeah, this is the scene I've seen. For the love... For the love of God, this had better not be what it looks like. <laughs> Whatever. How does this look to you? What? Where'd you get? What's it look like now, Mom? Oh, I bet if we wasted the whole clip, we couldn't have used it on the parents. Oh yeah. What's it looking like now, Mom? That means we gotta. That means we gotta do another run, but after the clip has been wasted, and see what happens. Probably not much different. Probably just use a knife. I mean, maybe. But I want to see more art. A a Ashley, come on. Ashley, put that away. There is no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas, because I will shoot. Andrew, go get a rope or something. We're untying this bitch up. And don't kill Dad. He did not need to be told that. Any rope out here? Probably not. I don't know why I'm going over here. <laughs> Fucking abandon her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Remember the fucking BDSM toys? Yeah. Oh, In their my... bedroom? Oh, my God. Just don't wake up, Dad. Before I do, we should probably save. Yes, that's a good idea. There's some rope in the, in the closet, along with other equipment. I wonder if this is fine. As you untangle the rope from something else. Ah, shit. Oh, uh, well, he's awake. Nice one, Butterfingers. Did you drop a dildo on your dad? <laughs> <laughs> okay. For the love of the god. Don't clip that. <laughs> Bookworm? <laughs> gonna be some kinky murder. No, that's just my search history. Anyway. Oh. What on earth are you doing? Uh, sorry, I uh, needed to... Uh... There is absolutely no good explanation as to why you're rummaging through their sex toys. And the truth, I want to tie my mom up, doesn't sound any better. <laughs> oh my god! I... I want to fuck myself. Now that needs to be clipped. <laughs> oh what yeah, that'll life? do. <laughs> Where's your mother? She wanted to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused, your father goes to check up on your mother. Got rope. Maybe you should hang yourself with it. Jesus fucking Christ! Honey, is everything alright? 
you take out your cleaver. Oh, I wonder if she was going to say Ashley isn't his real sister. Oh, well, maybe. What is going on? Oh, now we finally get to see the dad. He actually doesn't look that bad. Uh, 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 Andrew, weren't you supposed to be... <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> that needs to be clipped. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> oh god. That's it. That's Dropping it. a so dildo bad. on dad is clipped. Three. Ah. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> well, points to parents being very open with their kids about sex. <laughs> For what it's worth. It's this book. Uh, uh, I need deodorant. How am I supposed to say this in that posh British voice? I believe in you. Uh, Andrew. What? <laughs> what? Weren't you supposed to be Master Baby? <laughs> you did it. Just walk down. Slow and steady. You tie your father up with the rope. You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrists. Better oh, not dwell so. on it, as you'd rather not visualize how they came to be. Oh. So she's a dummy mommy. Andro? I'm just checking if she has something on her. Well, does she? No. Don't move. Don't scream. I will shoot. What? Why are you doing this? When you're caught in your parents' BDSM gear. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Bookworms sent me that. Uh. Uh. Oh, God damn it. Fucking. What the fuck is this game? I love it, but I hate it. <laughs> Talk either. Just shut up and weigh. Oh. Andrew! Why, I'm still looking for something to tie her up with. Look elsewhere. She's getting jealous of her mother. Mm-hmm. Ashley. This is entirely predictable. I don't know why I'm reacting like this. This is, like, why Why would her mother be, be, be excluded from her blind, incestuous jealousy? Don't talk to her. Get away from her. Don't even look her way. <laughs> oh, come on. I can't trust you to not get all... This fucking game. Mm -hmm. If anything, it would be stronger around her mom. Yeah, probably. I can't trust you to not get all misty. I eat shit, Ashley. Whatever, marshmallows, fine. Go get that fucking rope or whatever, all day. Got Christmas lights. I guess that's the best you're gonna do. 
tied your mom up using Christmas lights. So this is what your life has come to. <laughs> All right, God. Now, do you remember how to perform the rep? Oh, it up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? <laughs> that look on her face. She is so done with everything. Yeah. Is that what this is about? Money? You'll go this far for a quick buck. What's the pen and where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pen and you scribble it down on a note. Okay, then I'm gonna go and try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pen and you end, end them, then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. <sighs> Alright. I'll be quick. What the fuck are you gonna... Order oh, a pizza. Like an... Oh, yeah. Well, 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 what are you doing here? Get back downstairs. They're not gonna try anything. Mean girl. Oh my gosh, Bokran clicked the thing about the dad masturbating thing. Or did uh. that... It only takes one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up in our faces. It's amazing how cooperative a person is with a gun pointed at them. Uh... Yeah, so go point it. I'll be right back. It's just... Come on, out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Yeah, Ashley, almost like people won't want to die. <laughs> well, you have this habit of flip flopping. Lay back. Uh, uh, uh. Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. <laughs> You're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. You so are Ashley. While Andrew is busy picking up the money, you decide to set up the ritual. Or at least, what you remember of it. Blood say, candles and cannibalism. Runes, candles, and blood. Music, runes, and a book. Let's see. All of these are kind of... Literally all of these are kind of the case. Which one are we supposed to pick? You didn't say. <laughs> we saved right before going through the sex so, toys. Book says so it's definitely the middle one, but pick something else. Why? Because, like, there's music that needs to be done. <laughs> there's blood just for fun. There, well, there was cannibalism afterwards. Oh, there was that song the cultist kept wearing. Let's just see what happens. Okay. I hope that wasn't too important, seeing as I don't have that hair. There was also those runes on the floor, and a butt. No, I thought the music was for hiding it from the guard. No, like, when... Uh, that music was also used to attempt to summon the demon at uh, another time. But maybe it's not actually required. Don't know. 
Right. No way. The book was just the instructions. I wasn't needed for the ritual itself. You wish you had the book with you right now. Uh, whatever. I can start with the runes. Hopefully it's just mute, mood music. Yeah, you know, like, you have to get the demon, like, hot and ready to steal human souls by playing a remix of the Papers, Please theme. Yeah. First things first, I need some blood to draw with. Uh, there's a couple blood bags downstairs. Oh, I was gonna say for the meat. Yeah, I get a knife. I thought like the, the meat in the freezer, but okay. Right. Yeah. Unless they had gutted a live animal, it's not going to be blood. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow blow I'll blah 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 blah. I'll blow both your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm about. Don't you fucking act like this. I haven't... Oh wait, don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. But even then, I've stuck my neck out for all this time. Oh, like that time when you left me to starve for three months? Was that you looking out for me? Aw, oh, gee, thanks! You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you two little... Well, whatever. What you two little psychos did to that girl. She found out. Well, yeah. She did over here. <laughs> what are you on about? Take your me- I can- I can fix her. I swear I can do it. I can fix her. <laughs> I know you and Andrew did something to that- <laughs> You can't fix her by yourself. And that's what you say, Book. You and Andrew did something to that classmate of yours, who went miss- Did they never- Did they- Did they never- Are the police in that town actually that incompetent? Yes. That, that they never found that hastily thrown together grave. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, they did find her. Okay. It'd take an army of people, hopefully trained in therapy. I knew it the second she was dead near that warehouse you used to play at. Whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself of you right then and there. When it comes to being a mother, <laughs> Wow. So this is another friendly reminder. If someone's a good person, mm -hmm. they don't feel the need, generally speaking, with very rare occasion exceptions, if someone's a good person, they don't feel the need to say that they are a good person. I'm a good person. Not. Sorry, what was that? You literally got caught. 
<laughs> you too. I, s I said, I I'm a good person. Not. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, anyway. When it comes to being a mother, I am a fucking stank, Ashley. A stank! <laughs> Bookworm. Discord knows you're wise. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, wait, no. Ah, uh, yeah. The patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they would have done to you if they found out? Oh, yeah, come to think of it, this is under, like, an extremely draconian dictatorial rule, so... I, I have a bad feeling that in this dystopia, the kids would have just immediately been, like, life sentenced. Mm -hmm. Or executed. Who fucking knows? This place is shit. Now... Wait. God damn it. Or shot in the streets, yeah. Now then. You paragons of virtue. Let's see whose blood I should go. Uh. Fuck, uh, you know what? I'll cut the right. father. Right. Um. Right. We have confirmation that he's a masochist. Yeah. Cut the mother. That's the reason I'm coming to father. No, don't cut... Damn it. <laughs> We're gonna get some more weird shit. <laughs> you give your father's arm a good slice. Hey! Which part of no screaming escapes you? Uh, Bookworm! Might summon a different demon. Mother would like to gouge your eyes out and feed them to you. Hey. It brings your heart great delight. <laughs> Got blood. Alright, let's see here. Now something like that. that. Now let's finish drawing this masterpiece. Okay, Ma, I <laughs> it's so stupid. Yeah. Lucky Ma, I drew a circle. It's a really shit circle. Do you know do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. The nerve of you. You never. No, no. Don't let it get a rise out of you now. Handles, handles, handles. Go to the BDSM stuff. I can't. Let's try hatchet. I thought for sure there would be candles there. I thought I'd mentioned candles before. Oh, no wax play, boo. Now you can't leave. You have prisoners to keep watch of. Yep. Uh, check their bedside desk. Nope, nothing pops up. Uh, check the uh, desk outside. Put the pictures on it. Nope. Renovations are afoot. Come on now, Andrew. 
trusted you to keep an eye on your parents. Right downstairs. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that was so... Okay, yeah, thanks. All right, that's all the candles I had. Welcome back. Andrew, give us a hug. <laughs> you have a draw limit on your card. I do. You do. You can only get a couple hundred before it locks me out. <laughs> They're fake. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> bitch. Being insufferable runs in the family. You don't yeah. say. Yeah, well guess what? Now... We all get to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up, you have a call to make. Ashley, take it to the phone. You draw your gun. Off we go. You're in luck as the customer service line has just opened for the day. Time to get thanks. <laughs> Yet somehow there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? You wait. Bruh. <laughs> Please hold. My representative will be with you as soon as possible. <laughs> I love this game. I need to actually buy this game. It's not that much. I want to support this creator. This is amazing. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, roll of three. <laughs> Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Roughly a quarter millennia later, Mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You said you want me to remove the draw limit altogether? That is what I said, yes. What? Wow, that's crazy! What if your card gets stolen? Indeed. I'm not at all being held at gunpoint here. <laughs> oh, this is just too real. Yeah. It's just too real. This is the exact level of incompetence that tends to come up in real life situations. Though, to be fair, this worker is like probably paid barely minimum wage, so it's, it's not their job to piece this bullshit together. Mm -hmm. Wow, the board just fell for A joyous laughter in whatever voice I did for that lady or person. I don't know. <laughs> the mom. Mm. There we go. Your goal. <laughs> Is there anything else I could help you with? Apparently not. 
Alright then, have a nice day, Mrs. Graves. Now it's back into the basement with ya. I don't think for a second I didn't see that stunt you were trying to pull there. <laughs> it was just small talk. Oh, the music changed. The card should be freed now. Unlike your mother, whom Andrew quickly ties up. <laughs> I was looking at what you set up here. And let's just say, it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little rooms look like anymore. God, your memory is such shit. Though, I already figured as much, so I sketched him out for you. It's literally just pentagrams, girl. You forgot! You... Ashley, you forgot... A fucking five-pointed star in a circle. Yep. I can try to fix her. No. <laughs> Why didn't she just draw the rooms themselves? There's blood right there. Because you might might have had a good reason for not drawing them yet. Alright, fair. Whatever. Give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself at this hour. It's already morning, though. Well, yeah, but I mean, still. Just hand me the card. I... Actually, can I really leave Andrew alone with Mom and Dad? Who knows what they'll say to him. And he's wishy-washy enough as it is. Ashley, you wonder if you can trust An Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. Save game. Trust okay. him and fuck that. Let's trust him first. Yeah, let's trust him. Must Hatches loses even more faith in their ability to fix Ashley. No trust him. Just give me the card. I'll get the money. Please I'm be guessing, careful. Hmm? I'm guessing this is the decision that I've seen people talk about that turns the uh, heavily implied emotional incest into actual incest. Anyway, aren't I always... When are you ever? <laughs> See you later. It'll be fine. He won't turn on me as long as I have the trinket. Yeah. Oh, maybe the mother will finally tell the thing about Ashley that now. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. You are Andrew. There's nothing you can do about the missing audio, but at least you can draw the missing runes. And where did a Ashley get all this blood? <laughs> Is your father looking a little anemic? A sketch of a rune. Got blood. Got blood. Is she making you do this? Nah. Are you going to kill us? Come on, of course not. Technically, anyway. <laughs> then what is all this witchcraft looking nonsense? Just let her scare you a little. We'll leave you alone after that, how about it? It's hard to say whether she believes you or not. There was something I tried to talk to you about earlier. I don't really care, honestly. 
about Ashley. What is it? I wanted to apologize to you. For always making you look after her. That was wrong of me. It's fine. Girl, listen. 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 You're apologizing to the child that you neglected. Mm -hmm. You don't say, I'm sorry, and then immediately go into, Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was always stuck with a seven and a five-year-old to care for. Think you'd have fared better than me? I wouldn't know. A teenage mom. Wait, was that the implication of that statement? Maybe. It can be both, Mom. Oh, yeah. This isn't an excuse, mind you. It's an explanation. I never hated you. I was just a fuck-up. When she was Andrew's age, she had a five and seven year Oh, gee. Oh, oh, wait a minute. And Andrew is in his 20. Yeah, Andrew is like 21. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, she had two kids in like, like 14 and 15 years old. Jesus Christ. Yeah, 14. Yeah, jeez. Oh, man, we're really weird. Oh, boy. The fuck is wrong it with you, Dad? <laughs> it wasn't. Well, were they the same age? That's an important question. Fair. Like, were with, were they within a reasonable age bracket? If or, uh, does Dad have... Hopefully Dad is around the same age, yeah. Anyway, I'll, well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, this is... You see, that's the thing. This is the type of horror game that I tend to really appreciate. Because... It's not, like, keeping me on the edge of my seat in terms of, like, actually being terrified, mm -hmm. but it's just so fucked up. Mm -hmm. It's so disturbed. <laughs> anyway. Don't say that, honey. We did fine. Dad. <laughs> so fine. Look where we are now. Anyway, you were such an easy child. I thought we'd be just fine having another. I wasn't counting on Ashley to be so... Did what you did. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made you raise her. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see what was happening. In golden child and scapegoat time. Yeah. And for that, I apologize. It's all my fault. I apologize. Well, it is what it is. Oh, are we gonna get to choose whether or not he turns on Ashley or not? Maybe. So then there's like three branching paths here. Possibly. We got a fashion... Yeah, it's kind of too late to apologize. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> yeah, we can still sort this out. Yeah. Listen, we got to... Uh, we got a really good parental counseling guy that we're gonna call real quick. Just let us finish this blood ritual. 
What the fuck? I think we can sort this out. Is there a... If it's money you need, I can help you get a job. They're hiring at your... at your company, aren't they, love? That's right. Wait, why did I just make him old all of a sudden? I don't know. It, it's the blood loss talking. If I put in a good word for you, you're as good as hired. Be forewarned, though. They get a lot of difficult customers there. But I know you can handle it. It'd be easy after handling Ashley all this time. Now I want to know where Dad works. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? Your parents are offering you a an ovlish. An ovlish. Ovlish. Save game. Your parents are offering you an olive branch. Ovlage. Okay, so do we go with Lele? Or do we back out? What do you want to do, Bray? Do we kill our parents or not? Probably just go with the main storyline for right now, and we can go back. I mean, I don't know if there is a main storyline. It's just, it's got branching paths. Bookworm, what do you say? Book says, yeah. I don't know. Oh, okay. I would probably say decline as well, but that's... I'm I'm very biased because Ashley. Well, it's two for decline, one for accept, so... Maybe accept first? Yeah, I would go with decline. Sorry, Book. You're outnumbered. As a, as a, uh, as a participant, time to sacrifice. As a participation trophy, uh, you'll get to help me customize Hatchet the Orc when we play Skyrim in a bit. Yeah. What about Ashley? I wish you wouldn't talk about her that way. Let's well, not fight. There is a solution here somewhere, I'm sure. Well... Oh wait, sorry. Wrong word. What? Were those death certificates bad anyway? <laughs> it's a life insurance scam. Nothing more. How's that work? There's this doctor, well, a surgeon, actually. After they told us you'll be stuck in that apartment, we got redirected to him. And as far as the records go, you died from the parasites. I didn't even know I had any life insurance. Well, I forgot it for you, too, after you got... I forgot I, uh, it? I forgot it. You I forgot, forgot it. <laughs> I forgot it. The money just came out of my ass. <laughs> well, I got it for you, too, after you were quarantined. It's kind of curious that they let you do that. So then, when we died, were you in on it? Of course not. I thought... I really thought you died. They said your bodies had to be burned because of the parasites. So that's why I never got to confirm it myself. Ah. She's full of shit. Yeah, and there's just... 
And there's just so happens to be a hit guy coming after us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay, mom. I had to get the right mouse. Very good book. What? Where are you going? I had to finish setting this thing up for her. Oh, come on. Forget this nonsense. We can sort the documents out. Oh, you can even live here if that doesn't work out. You can leave this whole mess behind you. Just like that. That's okay. I'm not really interested. What? But that... That doesn't make any sense. Why would you not... Ah, oh, I get it. Um... Um... Well... <laughs> it went there. Yeah. <laughs> Way to be subtle. You fuck her. Wh what? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is disturbing, Andrew. She's your sister, for God's sake. You said Ashley instead of Andrew. Did I say Ashley? I yes, you Andrew. did. Uh, yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> Look, I have a fixation, okay? <laughs> Cut me some slack. <laughs> There's no way we're gonna get through all of these branching paths tonight, are we? No, we're probably just gonna finish this one path and that be it. Book said no, I heard Andrew, I thought. Maybe I stepped up. Yeah. You know what? It's it's two versus one. I actually did say Andrew. Fuck you, right? Wow, fuck you. Watch me pull it up from editing and show to Ashley. And I show it to you later like I did in the Borderlands thing. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, like, if, if you actually find it in editing, and I did actually say Ashley, uh, uh, well, I don't have anything to give you, but I'll- I'll give you props. <laughs> you what, if, if you do that, then I will give you- Potatoes. There, I'll give you that. Ah, yes. Interesting. <laughs> but if you don't do that, I'll take your- Potatoes. Oh, well, then I guess I'll just starve. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Oh my god, it would have been so good if I did the dun 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 when you said you fucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. I haven't done anything. What the hell, mom? Then what does she give you that makes it worth all this? Well, well, that's none of your business, is it? I knew something was off. How did I fuck up so bad? I'm the worst mother ever. You kinda are, lady. No, I mean, yes you are, but I have never. Good timing, Ashley. I'm back. <laughs> now of all times. I got the money, did you? <laughs> did you miss me, handsome? Did you? Did you? <laughs> I want to die! <laughs> ah, whatever. Summon the fucking demon already. Oh, so? <laughs> so I looked back at the clip. I didn't hear Hatchet say Ashley. Damn. So I did say Andrew. Fuck you. Which means you will never get any potatoes. I clicked it as proof. Thank you, book. If, if you didn't name it, Objection, I'll 
not do anything, but that'd be really funny. And proof in trial much. versus hatchet of trial. Proof in the trial of hatchet versus bright. Okay, you know what? That's the that's the next best thing. You did good, bright. Wait, oh. what? You did good, bright. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck you for having bright. Fuck you for choosing a username that has a B in it. <laughs> <laughs> in the first letter. Okay, now that I can prove you did that instead of fuck. I can prove well, that. I'm not well, I'm not <laughs> denying that. That's not in contesting. I, I'm not. I'm not saying anything other than I was a dipshit in that instance. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Oh, so eager. Let's see if it shows up though. Since there's no music. Wait, what are you talking about? Quiet, yo. I'm still armed. <laughs> Andrew, light the candles. Sacrifice. Let's get some sacrifices in chat. Alright, get to it. You are Ashley. Spell sacrifice. Maybe. Well, whatever. No. Ha. Sacrifice time says book. Very good. Ha. Hello, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Damn it. It's all right. It adds to the channel. I'm sorry, I don't have the mood music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something? <laughs> Please don't. Mixed demon. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> uh. Oh, soul. What the fuck is that? I offer those two. Their screaming is short-lived as the demon steals their souls. Huh. I wonder if I should feel something. <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, so the music wasn't needed to summon you after all? Why did I have to play it last time then? The circle is hard to find. The sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which... A deal is a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Also, there was no chant or anything. Just a- Hey, demon, please come here. Yeah. Yo. Oh, did you say thank you? Yes, I did. Oh. Like 15 seconds ago. I am demon going dot dot dot. What? what? Hello? This is the brother. That's right. My pride and joy. And no, you can't have his soul. It's mine. <laughs> I will see you again, Tarzan. 
sure. I'll make another offering once the trinket needs to be charged again. I will summon you. Uh, bring this one with you. What? Me? Why? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, bye bye. The entity so leaves. Is she a demon in disguise? No, she's just on her way to be a demon. I don't fucking know. And that's that. The trinket is charged. My only question is is the soulless body still fuckable? Bright? Yes. They're dead. <laughs> Your own chat <laughs> has the rule of no discussion of necrophilia. <laughs> you implemented <laughs> that rule yourself. Stop. I restrain myself, so you have to too. Go ahead, Hatchet. And that's... Th I already read this, though. Oh, you did. You just got so distracted with necrophilia. Shut up. What did it mean it'll summon you? Who cares? What do we do with the body? Who cares, she says. Are you kidding me? The body's Andy. Focus. Right, the body's, uh... Well, on one, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other, have them gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked off somewhere? Who knows? Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation... Right, so let's make them disappear. Into our stomach! Oh my god. Oh, yep, that's where it's going, ain't it? Right. We can start by chopping them up. Cannibals got a cannibal. Burn down their house. Oh, right. Cannibal. You keep forgetting cannibalism, Bookworm. You're gonna make the cannibalism upset again. <laughs> Can't we just dump them in the ocean or something? That's... Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's exactly what Andrew was gonna say. Yeah. No, Ashley. We're gonna make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Ugh, like, how do we go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Oh, there's a drain right there. Ah, right you are. See, I'm not a dumbass all the time. <laughs> no, just dumb and an animals. ass. <laughs> book says, don't want to upset cannibals. I might wind up on the menu. Yeah, depending on wh where I go, like... Oh, that's that's an interesting question. I haven't actually considered... You know what? We'll, we'll worry about this later. I mm -hmm. need... Actually, no. Bright, here's my question to you. Should my Skyrim character, that is Hatchet the Orc, mm -hmm. be a cannibal? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it didn't take seconds to even think about <laughs> the sky uh the skyrim the the descendant of the hatchet bloodline shall eventually go to the last dragonborn who also just so happens to be chaotic evil and has a not, or no let's make him chaotic he's gonna be chaotic neutral he's only gonna eat criminals after the initial person He's going to focus on eating criminals, because it's easier. So they're going to be a vampire then? I mean, I could do vampire, but you can actually just straight up be a, be a cannibal yes. in the game. Yes, anyways. And actually, come to think of it, the ring that makes it possible to do that would probably work well with his playstyle. This is a good idea. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, wow. Check out this smartass right here. Andrew is untying the parents, but stops. W wait what? What is that? Is that breathing? 
We take a look and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Oh! So they are still technically alive. Huh. It's just like, they aren't there. Huh. So they still are fuckable. Right. <laughs> They're alive! This would, still, this would still reasonably fall under <laughs> the definition of necrophilia. Because, well, actually, no, it wouldn't be that. This would just be outright SA. Is a cultist person, person fuckable? No. <laughs> Again, Bright, I control my overwhelming thoughts of all the fucked up, disgusting porn that I watch. Mm -hmm. Okay, I control those things, and I don't immediately blurt them out. You don't watch those things, and you just say this shit. <laughs> like, it's nothing. I've actually seen something like this as an SAO hentai. I feel like I might know what you're talking about. Yeah. Anyway. You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet their hearts still beat, their lungs still... Their lungs draw in air. Oh god, what is this? Ashley. Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable. Oh my god. Fuck. God. Uh, putting the essay. <laughs> oh god. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh no. Essay online. <laughs> that sounds so bad. That's absolutely a fucking game I would play. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Hatchet. I told you, I'm into fucked up shit. <laughs> it's video games, what does it matter? Yeah, anyways. I would assume anyone who's playing essay online <laughs> is fine with the fictional essay. That or people trying to take it down by playing it. <laughs> How would that work? I don't know, but I've seen people do that with Fallout and GTA. Ah, uh, yes. I'm going to take down the SA game by playing the SA <laughs> game. Anyways. What the fuck is this conversation? I don't know. <laughs> We've got one viewer. Everyone's left. Yeah. Everyone left. Even Bookworm's gone. <laughs> oh, Bookworm's gone. No, they left. Everyone this else? is just a bot. Oh, okay. This is just bot worm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's it anytime bookworms like sh like just lurking it's bot worm, <laughs> worm. <laughs> oh speaking of which no i am the one well oh speaking of which yeah there it just jumped up to two. Oh, oh fire red <laughs> new gift in the sub tonight bot a sub tonight <laughs> bot <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. That can't be. The cultist died in the warden too. Oh. <laughs> uh. uh. Oh. Wait, since the oh cultists got their soul taken, does that mean we just did flat out murder? Wait, what? Remember, at the beginning of the game, the cultists didn't have anything to offer, so they had their soul taken, and they collapsed. So when we cut them up, did we do murder? Because they're technically still alive. Oh, shit, yeah. 
<laughs> this has just been murder the whole time. Yep. Although, arguably, it's less egregious. But it's still fucked. All of this is so fucked. Yeah, anyway, you got a line. Yeah. Well, I mean, did you actually check? Our body count so far is two. Yeah. Yeah. Or wait, yeah. No, there's, uh, there's three. There's the, there's the cultist, the warden, uh, the other warden. Oh, and then there's that lady that he killed. So there's four. Yeah. And now it's gonna be bumped up to six. Mm-hmm. Just proper serial killer duo right now. Bonnie and Clyde. This is not... What do you want? <laughs> this is not... What do you want? That's this. What do you want from me? Do you want head pats? Do you want hugs? I can give you hugs. Booker says, I think it kind of is. <laughs> The incest makes it so suspect. Hatchet? Wait, Bonnie and Clyde were incestuous? No. What are we talking about? I think it was just applying because the romance is similar because of the incest between these two. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. Look, listen, I have Festus on my chest. I'm not- I'm- I'm in Festus land right now. Anyway. I have my boy. The terrible part of it. yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, a anyways, Hatchet, you got a line. I sh- Oh, fucking hell, Festus. Why do you get up here just to get down? What is your fucking damage? It's an, an immediate fuck you. I love him, but he's such a dick. Anyways. I sure did it. I just went to town and started shopping. No, 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 no. Please don't tell me he was still alive when we ate him. Well, that's... Well, that's not how that works. Yeah. He would have been dead. <laughs> he got chopped up. He, he was... He was... Y'all murdered him before you ate him. Huh? Huh? Uh, what the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you're ripping his head off. <laughs> Must have done the trick. It'll be the same way with these two. Get to cutting. No, that... This changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Oh shit, hopefully they don't end up like Bonnie and Clyde will. B plus C died at 23 and 24. Well, at the same time, hopefully they do because uh, these are not good people. Oh no, I just started thinking about it. What if one one of the people we have to visit is Julie and sacrifice them? Don't don't you dare. Don't you dare bring that thought up, okay? We ain't mm -mm. We ain't we ain't doing it. <laughs> Fuck you, Bright. If this game goes there, <laughs> uh I mean I'll still really like the game. This <laughs> turn the game. I'll still really like the game, but holy fucking shit. I I love Julie. I can tell. Start Ashley oh, betrayal God. playthrough. <laughs> Part our Ashley betrayal. Yeah, just immediately alt F four. Yeah. Anyways, hatchet. like the second Ash, the second Ashley even suggests killing Julie, we just nope. We're done. We're going back. We're getting a job. Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Yeah. You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though, if we want to leave them to stop, 
I'm all for it. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Ah, uh, I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Andrew, look. Look here for a sec. What? You get your father, too. Did like, you just, like, immediately go through that? No. Or was it just, like, just, like, we saw that image and then it immediately goes? It immediately goes, yeah. What? What? What are you doing? There. All dead. That's really dumb, girl. Mm-hmm. Now, tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But you did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway, you drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Alright, I'll start cutting you got of blood into the drain with the shower head. Oh, you said gotcha. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa, what? Stop, stop! Stop, it's flooding. Uh. Oh, what the hell? Bruh. <laughs> oh, great, the drain is clogged up. And... The lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. Oh, there was a screwdriver. Screwjobber. Screwdriver somewhere. Yeah. We just keep chopping the butt- or you just keep chopping the bodies. I'll go get something to unclog the drain lab. Got vinegar. Oh, that'll be for cleaning the blood. I mean, uh, Soto also works for cleaning blood. The book says, killed people? No problem. But dirty water? Ew! <laughs> Baking soda. Oh yeah, vinegar would... Oh yeah, vinegar and baking soda might... Unclog the drain? I don't think that's how that works, but we could try it. Where the fuck was that screwdriver? I know there was a screwdriver somewhere. There it is. Andrew unscrews the drain lid. Pour in some... Oh... Okay, baking soda and then vinegar is an awful idea. So Just vinegar. Do vinegar. Yeah. Wrong. The baking soda goes first. Wait. So the actual goal is to just... Wait, is this a... The double... Is this just a normal thing? Do people normally just unclog drains with baking soda and, and vinegar? Maybe. I actually need to look this up now. Do people unclog drains with baking soda and vinegar? Four steps to unclog your drain with baking soda and vinegar. It's a real ass thing. Start by pouring a pot of boiling water down the drain. Next you pour a cup of baking soda and one cup water one cup vinegar solution. Cover with the drain plug and wait five to ten minutes. Pour boiling water down the drain again. So they're not gonna do it the proper way, but I I guess it's actually yeah. Google auto completed the search for me. <laughs> yeah, they don't got the boiling water. Who gives a shit? 
You pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then dance it with vinegar. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't lessen one bit. It's almost as if there's a couple steps you missed. Well, we try. <laughs> I'll get some rubber glove. I'm the one who's gonna, who's gonna have to d get in there. But of course, I'm but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Oh, but one of the drop-down questions had some more context. That it will destroy the train if you use this method. <laughs> well, make it become more damaged. Okay. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. This is a one-time use thing. Anyway, for these characters. Fine, just give me the gloves. Anyway, I must control my thoughts about things that we've seen today. Here you go. Have fun. And handed Andrew the rubber gloves. He takes out God knows what out of the drain. Seemingly ever ending amount of God knows what. Oh god, that is disgusting. Ugh, I'm gonna get you just you just stabbed two people, girl. Yeah. You're not helping. There, help with controlling thoughts. That doesn't help, right? I mean book. I mixed it up again. Fuck, that is gross, Andy. Uh, uh, I would laugh uh, if he uh, throws it at her. I don't know, let's see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Both of you to call me that when I'm... When I am on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is happening while there's two corpses next to them. What? You what? Give me or you. No. Ah, no. No. Don't you dare. No. I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew. Andrew, I'm sorry. I apologize. Fine. You are spared for now. The drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents, and disembowel them, and decapitate them. You also make a mental note to yourself about Andrew. Instead of osculating between freaking out and apathy like you expect him to. Oh yeah, our choices have made it so that... that mm -hmm. He don't different. care. Yeah. And now she's feeling off because he ain't acting like he normally does. Mm hmm Who is it? What? No. Nothing, Andrew. If you're tired, I can take care of the rest. What? No, it's... It's really nothing. I must be seeing things. Huh? Why? To think I'd ever bear witness to, to you being distraught over our parents' corpses. Oh. Uh, right. Then again, I bet you're just mope, moping over finally getting your hands dirty. And, uh, you? Hmm? What? Are you doing all right as all right as I can be hmm considering the circumstances he's compartmentalizing <laughs> that's good yeah being weird 
Okay. That was a thing. <laughs> hey, sister, let me just mirror our parents' blood on your face. This is fine. This is so normal. I'm not losing it. <laughs> Look who's talking. Ha. Alright, enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butchering your parents. Incidentally, there's a knot in your stomach. So, what's the plan for all this? Where to dispose of it all? Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's go around and see what we can do. Put them in the dryer! Got a head. Got all the limbs. That That is a lot of limbs. Get two torsos. Got a head. You're just carrying all these The pile casually? of organs, you know? Why are you... Why are you... Okay, whatever. <laughs> like, my body no, just... I, I'm just Ed Gein right now. No, you're not. And how do you explain me carrying two corpses? Right. That is not at all what Ed Gein did. I know, I'm wearing the corpses. No, you're not. Oh, I know. Let's turn some of the meat into a soup. Throw in some vegetables, and maybe spices. And then throw the rest away as scrap. What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do what you want. What was that soup you made earlier, and what was the ingredients again? The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up, throw them in the pot. I will again remind everyone that this sounds like one of the worst stews imaginable. It's just miscellaneous meat, carrot, potatoes, and onions. And sperm from the penis that we're dropping in there. Right. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Expect the unexpected. <laughs> right, it's not unexpected. It's just original and boring. <laughs> Get a different fucking joke. Oh, there you go. Thank you. I knew you memorized that, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. Got potatoes, got carrots, have miscellaneous body parts, and onion. You cut the limbs into chopped meat. Got chopped meat. You skin the heads. You got face times two. You got skull times two. <laughs> oh my I don't I don't <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna do an end game. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> if you just stumbled upon predicting this fucking batch hit nonsense, <laughs> I am going to have a conniption. Also, how the fuck is it already almost 11? Deal with it, bitch. Time to go full serial killer. I mean, we already did go full serial killer. It's seven victims. Yeah. Seven victims already. Or no, six. Six. Okay, anyways. Oh, wait, no, there was also the hitman. But that's more self-defense than anything. But still. 
Seven victims. Seven corpses. <laughs> and hatchet your eye. I was uh, collecting my anomalies. What do I do with their faces? I make mess out of them? I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace? Oh, what about the skulls? Keep them in your car. Well, the skulls we can deal with later. Along with all, all the other bones. You cut the potatoes into chopped potatoes. You cut the onions into chopped onions. You cut the carrots into chopped carrots. A demonic serial killer, but actually demonic this time, unlike the other posters. Look at that. Much better than yours. <laughs> Just gonna go dissing on other people's cooking? Here, clean up the skulls and they could be nice decorations. <laughs> exactly. Would anyone even know they were real? Probably not initially. Yeah. I think the average person would just assume that they're, like, really realistic replicas. Then again, you can literally buy bones on the internet. Yeah, too. or or just, like, say, oh, yeah, it's just, like, a couple skulls I bought off eBay for, like, 12 bucks. Not gonna, not gonna worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> now, is there anything else we still needed to deal with? You need to find a hyena to eat the bones. Go to the zoo. <laughs> While your parents might belong in the trash, it wasn't a good idea to dunk them all in here as they are. Maybe the bodies look less conspicuous. 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 Shut up. Oh, can we burn the body's hair? It, it would be like cremation. Cremation's chambers get significantly hotter. Yeah. No way. Oh, wait. No, that's you. There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boho. What? <laughs> Place the torsos above the fireplace. Nature rolls his eyes, but the light, but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Wait a minute, goddamn! <laughs> this isn't working. Makes me kind of hungry, though. <sighs> Let's leave this beef for now. Throw the faces. Just cooking everything. Yeah. You throw the faces into the fire too. Soup is brewing. Okay, here's a thought. Throw all the bones away with the BDSM gear. Problem solved. Someone's gonna look in that trash can and think. This is the weirdest fucking shit. I don't want to touch this. Oh, we might be able to actually throw it away now. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Amazing set book. Okay, here's another thought. Put them in someone else's trash. We actually haven't tried that. Yeah, it was the neighbors. The neighbors ate them. <laughs> Wasn't one of these neighbors literally called something like McFuckernut or something like that? Probably, yeah. Frame a neighbor for the killing wall. Oh, maybe we have to clean this up down there. Nope. It is going to be quite incriminating if a, if anyone comes in this house and finds this. Fucking dried blood circle. Two missing people. 
that I I'm I think it's fair to say that that would open up a murder investigation. I am so confused as what to do. Something would light up if there was stuff to do. Let's see, so what do we have? We've got just skulls right now? Yeah. And I guess some bones? Mm-hmm. There's no way to open your inventory, is there? Unidentified small object. Yeah, wash laundry, kitchen knife, organs, and skull. Washed away. We have washed laundry on us as well. Yes. Bury the bones in the garden? I mean, maybe. Do we have a shovel somewhere? But yeah, we've got a couple skulls and some organs to get rid of. Not seeing a shovel. But yeah, weren't you wanting to cut off stream around now? I mean, we're right at the end. I mean, true. Yeah. Fair. Oh, wait, that's spade. Nope. Nothing lit up. Damn it. Have you checked the coat rack? Don't know what the fuck you would find there, but... Yeah. Go into the neighbor's yard and deposit the bones. I don't think you can. I know, I'm, I'm joking. Oh, you can come back to the car? was yours well yours is a very loose term this time mine was already the top the one is probably dirtied <laughs> eh. nothing's Nothing. lighting up hmm. i love the fact that oh Andy's wait so what behind you ask your stand only operates during the height of summer season Thanks. That was so useful. Oh, I hate it when that sort of thing happens in RPG Maker games. Mm -hmm. And where, like, you're going somewhere, but if, if you move down to that new place, you just immediately get kicked back out. Yeah. Bury the bones in the garden. I am so fucking confused as what the fuck to do. Blend the bones. Pour your parents' organs in, in the oh. blender and blend away. That makes more sense. Several servings of crimson smoothie emerge. <laughs> all of which you pour down the kitchen sink. How's that? Good as done. I'm genuinely surprised you didn't offer me any. What? Did you want a disease or something? Oh, fucking Discord. <laughs> What's this? Oh, I thought they were going to drink it. <laughs> I wouldn't offer you raw meat. You really take me for an idiot, don't you? But do you want his raw meat? I'm sorry. At least it's in theme for this game. <laughs> I take you for what you are, idiot. Watch your mouth. This idiot just poured your parents down the drain. What is that supposed to prove? Heh, <laughs> alright, that was pretty smart, I guess. For an idiot. Oh, okay, I get it, because, like, she thought of fucking blending the organs. Also, are you just not gonna clean that? 
I mean, this is very hack dash. These two are not master serial killers. Oh my god. Do you think this soup is ready yet? We just left. You had to leave. <laughs> Dinner is ready. I'm eating too. Of course. This is the last hearty home cooked meal for a while after all. I suppose. That's right. Now say ah. Ah. Uh. Unexpected. Oh, well, how is it? It's okay. Just okay? I mean, it's better than last time, but... Why are you so picky? It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. Uh Mom's just a dry person, alright? And how the hell is it dry? This is soup. No. Mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. This is an incredibly odd conversation. Yeah. I rate this waste of ingredients out of 10. Would not eat again. Oh. Huh? You retract that statement at once. I slave away in the kitchen for you, and this is the thanks I get. I'm sorry, you can't cook. You're not forgiven. <laughs> oh. Jackass, eat shit and die. Well, wow, this food is certainly shit. What? Come on, I'm joking. It's not that bad, it's fine. More than fine. Yes, yes, it's fantastic in a way my dumbass can't appreciate. How about that? Huh. Well, why, yes indeed. This cooking is beyond my, my mortal comprehension. Alright. And out of it, this world culinary experience, which the nice meat cannot even taste properly. Because my taste buds simply aren't evolved enough to sense all the subtleties. Sure, when I say, when I said waste of ingredients, I mean it's a waste to feed it to me. Food of this caliber should only be fed the kings, no gods. That's more like a... Actually, that probably wouldn't go well, because if you remember the Greek myth, the guy who fed the gods human meat, it did not go well. And Talos? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, where. Oh, yeah, but it says, oh, gee, I wouldn't do that. And Talos. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I know that story. Basically, when he tried to do that, and when he did that, and the gods found out. Basically, he they threw him into I believe it's Tartarus. Yeah, he fed him his own kids. That's right. He fed, put him in Tartarus, and whenever he tries to eat, the branch will move up, and whenever he tries to take a sip, the the water will go down, so he can never eat or drink for all eternity. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The guys don't like that. They don't like to eat human meat. Typically in the Greek version. <laughs> I can't say the same for the others. <laughs> I mean, I can't think of any gods I know of that would be particularly fond of being yeah. fed humans. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, he's like a neck or waist deep in water and a branch of a fruit tree over him. Yeah. So exquisite is your cooking that I can, that I'll write you a shitty poem about it. Oh God! <laughs> Lo and behold, I implore you, come feast your eyes on her. Oh, and there is food too. 
all and all of this was because he wanted more of the food of the gods but of course they said no oh yeah he was eating ambrosia wanted, and nectar i forgot ambrosia. about that uh, yeah that was not the way you go about it listen listen gods hear me out okay <laughs> you give me more of that dank ass food that you got up there and i'll feed you my kid <laughs> Yeah, I think they were most pissed off about it. It was it was his own kids, not more. They were fed human meat. It was more like they fed his own kids. Yeah, that does make it notably worse. But anyway, yeah. too easy a way so she brewed a broth to give you quite the frack. There must be magic on her fingertips to cook such delight. And yet the meat is drier than her lips, quarter past midnight. Oh my god! <laughs> right at the end. Should I buy one? Um... And the meat isn't dry, god damn it, it's just right. <laughs> Whatever, humans are hard to cook. I'll get it right, I'll get it next time. What next time? Eh, whatever. Anyhow, I think we dunk with the flesh for the best fire abilities. We soon do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. It should be fine to just chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? Human soup. That's still burning. At least it's not man broth. Throw away the leftover human soup. The bone broth. I would love it if one of those funny name people came out asking what the fuck I, what the fuck I was doing. Oh, that I'm just <laughs> You want some soup? <laughs> yeah. You are Andrew. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. For now... I just, we gave the left. I'll just collect them Yeah, that's them what all. I was thinking, book. <laughs> yeah. For now, I'll just cut them all before Ashley loses track of them. I mean, got you've got... Bags. Kind neighborly things. Oh. The flesh is burned into charcoal, but the bones remain. Put them God in one bones. of the plastic bags. What about, like, the limb bones? What about the leg bones and the arm bones? There's oh, more wonder. bones than are in the torso bones. So, what do we do with these skulls? <laughs> I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What do we do all this crap for? Quiet you. As long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what? Does he not know about DNA? Yeah. Like, it, there's DNA in bones. Mm-hmm. Like, does he think that the salt water would wash the DNA away? I don't think that's how that works. No. The book says, OMG, that's skull art. <laughs> Is that? They're just bowling balls. Yeah. Anyways. Based on what logic? The, uh, dental records, I guess. You guess? How nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a bad before. I'm hoping one can't identify someone based on their bones alone. Do, do bones float though? Aren't they kind of like stay? I find something to weigh them down, just in case. There are rocks outside. It says, oh gee, they know nothing. Place them in one of the plastic bags. Oh, 
Unless this type of world doesn't have that type of technology hatchet. Well, I would imagine they do. Here's, here's, okay, here's, this is really simple. Like, these two characters should be able to think of this, because it's in every goddamn B-rated, uh, B, B-rated, like, every fucking mafioso thing. Book says, oh yeah, bones don't float. But, literally, okay, here's the thing, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. You just drained their bank account. Go to a hardware store. Mm -hmm. Get a bag of cement. You just make cement bricks, put the bones into bricks, toss the bricks into the sea, or wherever you wanna. They're not gonna be found anytime soon. This is so stupid. Yeah. Like, the gangsters figured this out, you know? They gave you shoes, the cement shoes, you know? They figured it out. Why can't these two figure it out? Who knows? Fuck. Anyways. Hey. Yeah, sorry. Now you've got to find a way to get rid of... Red... Wait. Now you got to find a way to get rid of them. They don't watch much mafia movies, lol. Yeah. It says off them instead of of them. Damn. Get rid of them. Got toothless skull. Got toothless skull. He's just put them in the trash. <laughs> I was about to say, I swear to God, if that's the answer. Why is it gone dead silent all of a sudden? I don't know, because I don't know what to say. You just you put sex toys now. <laughs> There's an extra F. There's an extra F to pay respects, lol. Maybe I gotta talk to Ashley now. So, we lose the teeth, bag the bones with some rocks, call it a day. I got it. We kind of did that. Oh, yeah, I gotta go get more rocks. No. Where the fuck do I take these goddamn bones? Try opening your inventory. Yeah, I got the. I got all bones. And there's no way to combine inventory items. Yeah. The ocean. Well, the, that's the thing. We're kind of limited on locations, but... Is there an ocean in this house? Maybe check the fireplace? Well, it wouldn't burn... It didn't burn the bones before, so no. Well, yeah, like, I wasn't thinking you'd be able to burn the bones. I was just thinking maybe there'd be something to pop up. I feel like our car was one of the bottom ones. <laughs> Welcome to Bumfuck Nowhere National Park. I don't like this place. <laughs> Why not? Oh, I thought they were near the ocean since they mentioned it so much. I mean, I assume that they're not far from it, but like, we don't have access to the ocean with our characters here. There has to be something. But nothing is lit up by walking around, and it lights Let me up. Let just go it up. You could, but I don't want the answer just yet. Okay, I'll, I'll go. I'll go take a look.
Nope. You flush the teeth down the toilet. It takes a few oh. tries to take for them all to flush. There, all gone. You wish you could have done this with all of your problems. Are you fucking kidding me? Finally, all that remains now is cleaning out the basement. Wait, did we flush the skulls down the fucking toilet? No, no, it was just the teeth. You, you'll have to take care of the bones later. Right. Actually, uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? I'll have to sacrifice some again later anyway. You're not taking them back here. You can't make this a base of operations. Huh? Why would it have to be here? Take the candles. Keep the candles with you. We're gonna live here. She's so goddamn stupid. Mm hmm. We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents' rent or whatever. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, our parents just coincidentally disappeared with what money with one job. Or, uh, remember, book, we drained their savings account. Okay, so apparently that walkthrough was actually in two parts, so after this dialogue, I'm just gonna save. Oh, okay. We are really close, though. You gotta have a limited amount of cash, yeah. But we actually are really close. Yeah, fair. And I don't want to keep going on. I'm getting tired. And plus, I gotta fix the fucking bed. Bust messed up. Yeah. yeah. We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents' rent or whatever. I wish we could, but eventually someone's gonna go, Hey, hey Miss Graves has a showed up for- Oh, showed up to work in a while. Book says keep pushing, no rest. But I want to play Skyrim tonight. So they get fired, so what? Oh my gosh, these- why? Why is she so unfathomably stupid? Hell if I know. I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. Okay, eh, okay, that's not true. There's also the fact that they're, that they apparently mingled with the people here. Neighbors will notice them gone, despite their names still being on the door. We can tell some lie. Say we're house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. What a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy with just each other? I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant. It's all the same. That anyway. actually speaks a lot to her mentality. Any mm. relationship is fucking for her. Mm hmm They can't all go. Haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well. Someone's gonna come look looking with the authorities. And who will they find here? Their children who didn't report their parents missing. I was just ask, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's so, obvious we can't stay here. Yeah. It's not that I don't want to. I just don't think we can. Well, can we at least use their IDs? We can be the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We run the same problem with our, as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see. 
what we've been up to with this. Huh. Sorry, Ashley. I wish it was that easy. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Ash? Being there to answer it. Look. Whatever. I'll clean the basement then. You are Ashley. No, you. Oh, god damn it! More reading. <laughs> Her line. God damn it. God damn it. I really thought we were in the clear after all this. Oh, uh, whatever. I'm gonna need a mop. I can probably finish this part after, like, I do that game that with it speaking or whatever and it tells my voice because it's technically only lasts 18 minutes it you're supposed to only last 18 minutes without screaming or getting too loud uh, that's how it is book says omg imagine if we stayed here yeah anyways that'd be a pain yeah book on last words go and uh I will probably go, uh, get a couple things and go to the bathroom, and then go live here in about, uh, ten or so minutes once the stream is over. Gotcha. Just waiting for Popcorn's response. Yeah. What, you don't want to come watch Hatchet the Orc? I'd probably be too tired. I figured, yeah. I have 165 notifications in YouTube. What the fuck? I wonder if it's all my videos. No, it's it's not. It would be funny if it was. There's 165 <laughs> the great Dr. Bright videos. Actually, I have yet to see one of your videos pop up while I'm scrolling. Oh, there's one. <laughs> My dad bought me a cruise missile for Christmas. Of course, of all the ones, it was a Cindy one. <laughs> you can't escape it, Hatchet. Even YouTube knows about it. I'm going to listen to this for a sec. Oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck? I haven't heard from Pika in a while. They have, I hope Pika's doing okay. They have computer issues. Oh, like, oh right. Subscribe and follow Bright for more murder and cannibalism. Apparently, let me save Get this in can, so she can the public uh, playlist I have. That is bright clips that made me laugh oh my god book oh what did book do they used a fucking piece of oh. shit from borderlands give her money if you can so she can do something <laughs> loop through clamp <laughs> stamp anyway hatchet last words go and remember kids cannibalism Mm. Mm. And yeah. a follow up. Well, and and a follow up. Last words. Remember, kids. Someone's fictional media consumption does not play. Does not inherently say anything about their morals. IRL. Okay. Anyways. I feel like that's important to mention considering how heavily people freak out over this fucking game. <laughs> the the idea that a horror game shows incest and is supposedly normalizing 
incest while we're eating our parents. <laughs> the internet is very stupid. Yeah. Anyways. Thank you, Jules. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time for your next mission. And, um... Uh... Period blood cactus balls. Uh,